In today's video, I'm taking probably the world's best camera to Edinburgh's best photo spot. It is a bit windy this morning. I got up nice and early for sunrise. I'm not actually sure that we're gonna get a sunrise. I think what's gonna happen is that all of this gray cloud is just gonna get steadily brighter. I don't think we're gonna get amazing colors. So my first shot is gonna be this classic view looking down Edinburgh's Princess Street. We've got the car lights light, um, all going up and down the road. We've got lights on the Balmoral Tower. It could be a really nice shot. So I'm framing this vertically, straight down here, zoomed in long exposure, probably about 20 seconds. Late last night, I took delivery of this. And this is the Phase One IQ4. It is a 150 megapixel medium format camera. This whole system, including this lens, costs somewhere around 60,000 pounds, 60,000 dollars. About 60,000 pounds, I think. It is an incredible piece of kit. So there was no way I wasn't gonna get up first thing in the morning and come out and try and get at least one photo with it. I actually got this camera for a feature that I'm doing for CNET. This isn't one I've just decided to get hold of or God forbid buy, because this would be absolutely overkill for 99% of the photography I do. As will be the case for most people, to be honest. Now, I am still a big believer in gear not making the shot. You do not need a camera like this to come and get a great photo up here, but I've got it anyway, so of course I'm going to bring something like this out and have a play with it. This is absolutely one of the best views in the city. In fact, for me, it is the best view because you get this great view straight down Princess Street. You get the castle, you get all of this great 360 panoramic view. Arthur's seat over here. Then you go around and we've got all of this, you've got views out to Leith and the coast that way. It's such a beautiful place to come with any camera. There is, just up here, the tiniest sliver of colour of pink in that sky. Maybe that's going to spread and give me something a bit more interesting going on. Because that is the interesting thing, isn't it? You can bring a 60,000 pound camera you can bring the best camera in the world to what would normally be an absolutely stunning location but if you still don't have the conditions and you're not going to get a great shot you are not going to get world standard shots even if you've got a world standard camera now that could be frustrating but it is one of the reasons why i love photography particularly landscape photography because you can return to these scenes again and again and every time you can get something different just because of what the weather is doing so as I'm waiting, I think the sun is sort of rising a little bit more over here and it's just peeking through the clouds somewhere because we've got this little strip of colour. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's just enough to keep me remaining hopeful that we might get a little bit more light on this scene and then as the morning progresses, we might get a little bit more coming on here, just lighting up these buildings. So I've moved down to this other position, which is one that I've done quite a few times before. I love this view of the city. We've got the Balmoral Tower, we've got the castle, but I also love this orange building here. And with the right composition, you can frame it really nicely with these bushes. So you can just about see the composition I've got here, this orange flash of orange here, and this great view looking towards the tower and the castle. But as you can see, we've still got no real colour or light hitting the building. We've got this kind of bright sky going on over here, but the rest of the scene is pretty flat and lifeless, I suppose. So I'm really hoping that now the sun is just peeking up over here, a little bit of light here, a little bit of colour coming through, that if that cloud breaks just a bit, we're going to get some lovely beams coming across, and that is what I've been waiting for. Just those beams to come through and just start lighting up the city. 
And thankfully, I didn't have long to wait before I actually got some decent colors in that sky. Oh, I did not think that I would get actually nice light this morning. I thought it was just gonna be gray and flat the whole time. But we've got some really, really nice conditions. And I'm so glad that I came. And I'm so glad that um, I'm on a camera like this. I think this light might be getting even better. You can see it's peeking through these clouds here, lighting up down there, lighting up these buildings. I am set up in quite a precarious position on this bit of rock, so I'm not letting go just in case it topples. But this is the view that we're getting at the moment. Pretty special. And that light got better and better, casting over the city and giving a beautiful sunrise glow to everything that really made it so worthwhile getting up early and trekking across town. I'm really pleased with the shots I got from the Phase 1 camera, and while that dynamic range makes balancing the bright sky easier, it's the incredible resolution that really stands out. Down at street level, I snagged a nice couple of shots looking down Princess Street, as well as this shot, which I turned into a moody black and white shot, which I absolutely love and will probably end up as a print on my wall. Just on my way home, actually, and I've walked past this allotment a few times, but I think with the resolution on this camera, I'm gonna get some great detail on the way that everything sat layers up. And to get the camera in quite a pre precarious position again, one of her legs is actually balancing on the fence. One of the things I love so much about working with this camera is that it's really slow to use. You've got to use a tripod to get sharp images. You've got to spend a lot longer in composing your shot, getting your settings right. So it forces a much more methodical way of working. So everything that you take is really, really considered. There's no quick snapping away with a camera like this. I try to make sure that all my shots are fairly considered, but when you are working with a DSLR, you can just snap away as quickly as you want, but you just can't do that with this. It's a really bit different way of working. I do enjoy it. Sun's behind a cloud at the moment, but when it comes out, it just bathes this whole area in really nice warm light. So I'm just waiting for it to pop back out, and then I'll take my shot. And of course, as you can see, I've got this really high up on the center column so I can shoot over this fence. I think the sun's coming out now. Mirror up. And there's my shot. But that brings me to an end of today's video. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the shots from this awesome camera. And if you have, please do give this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you don't already, and I will see you next time.